No, I didn't. I didn't. There's facial uh, hair. No. <laughs> There's a trip down to Mexico. Eight guys. <laughs> it's the water. <laughs> just talk about the second leg and what you're expecting to see from Shibas. Obviously, they, they've got the advantage um, coming on in, mm -hmm. but do you expect to see a team that's going to sit back and <coughs> absorb the pressure a little bit? And, and how are you guys going to counter that? I don't think they're a team that's going to come here and want to sit back and try to waste time, uh, that sort of play. Um, obviously, they're going to have savvy moments and they're going to want to manage the game in the right way. Um, but they're a team that hasn't really changed their style in the amount of games that we've watched throughout their season. Um, so their type of man-to-man, -man, high press, uh, high tempo soccer, I think that they're going to bring it here and, and do similar things. Obviously, with us going home, um, we're going to be a little bit more confident than ever um, because we know that we're hard to stop when we're at home, uh, playing high possession, high attacking football, and we're going to create a lot of chances. Considering it just, you know, at Chivas, at altitude, the crowd, the heat, mm. the teams sometimes wilt. You saw that from from Seattle. But yeah. when you look back at the game as a whole, I mean, really, uh, the game plan that you guys put out there pretty much worked. I mean, it ended up kind of just being a chance for each side, and, and they finished theirs, and you guys didn't, it seemed like. Yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, when you give them a chance, and obviously, you know, you make a mistake like I did, um, a, a good team like that is going to punish you. They have good players. Uh, they took their chances, and, and like you said, we were we were pleased with every everything else that we did defensively. I don't think they created many more chances. Um, and then for us, obviously, uh, we did create a couple of chances. We were just not able to execute in front of the goal. So um, I think that now coming back home, like I said, we'll be more confident. Um, we're going to be comfortable in front of the goal. We have a lot of good quality attacking players, and we know that we're going to be able to pull one away. So um, it's being able to manage defensively now and, and keep a clean sheet um, and then try to score as many goals as we can. Does your responsibility change at all knowing you guys have to chase the game a little bit to get a, to get a win and it's got to be a certain result? Do you have to maybe sit back in front of that, that front four to give some cover for the guys in front? Of course. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, being a holding midfielder, obviously that's your job on the day is usually to protect that back line. Um, but I think that for myself, uh, you know, getting the ball to the guys that, that are going to be able to create chances and then when I have the opportunity to do so, um, I'll try my best to do so as well. You, um, you're a guy who has been lauded for his maturity um, beyond your years uh, and also it seems like when you do make that mistake people are like oh my god because you've been so steady yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, it's, it's you're a player it's a game it happens um, is it just something that you just quickly put behind you I mean did you have a conversation with Jesse is it even necessary no I don't think so at all I mean I'm a confident player I think everybody would know that um, it's on to the next one for me I mean right after that play obviously I'm not thinking about it anymore uh, I'm trying to chase the game and get a goal and try to do the best uh, luckily there's a second leg and we're excited to be back home now so uh, I think that for me uh, there's no worries about that I put that behind me I go forward uh, and we're going to take care of business on Tuesday Red Bull Arena has been a place where historically you guys have done very well but mm -hmm. it's going to be a little different on Tuesday it might be a 50-50 crowd Mm -hmm. You know, is that going to be a unique kind of feeling coming on out and, and feeling maybe like the visitors? Uh, it's always a little bit weird, but obviously you want to see a crowd that's filled instead of not filled with whoever's hands it in. Uh, so, uh, you know, you act like they're cheering for you and you go on with the game, but uh, it's always it's always nice to be at home, no matter what. How does this, the experience you had playing in Guadalajara, playing against, you know, some of the things Mexican teams kind of mm -hmm. like to do on the field, on and off the field, how does that prepare you potentially for national team and playing those yeah. types of matches and World Cup qualifying? Yeah, really important. Um, I think that, you know, having the CONCACAF experience that I have had with the youth national teams, um, it's very similar. Uh, I've played in situations as hostile as that before. Um, so I think that now going forward with the senior national team, uh, I know that I'll be in situations like that going forward, uh, whether it's CONCACAF uh, qualifiers, whether it's a Gold Cup, whether it's Olympic qualifying, um, anything that I'm able to be involved in. Uh, but I think that, you know, you have to be ready for whatever you get. And that also means, you know, potentially some of the in-game things that kind of yeah. happen with trying to kill time and, Absolutely. you know, getting little fouls and, and those little advantages that those teams seem really good at. Yeah, I think that controlling your emotions is, is really important in these matches. Uh, obviously not getting too overwhelmed, uh, too angry, too upset uh, with whatever, ha whatever happens in the games. So just controlling your emotions uh, and then obviously managing the game if you're up, you're down. Uh, learning those situations is important. It's a uh, one goal deficit. Um, it's always tricky when you've got to manage a second leg because you don't want them to get the away goal. Right. You can't press too much because they get hit you on the counter. but. Um, overall, though, I'd, I'd imagine coming home, the, the overall performance there, um, there's there's a, a big, uh, there's a lot of confidence. Absolutely. Like I said before, I think any time that you come home, you're confident. Um, and we're going to play the same style, whether we're down or up. Uh, we're going to go after the game, try to score goals. They score one, we have to score three. So we know we know the task at hand, um, and I think everyone will be up for the challenge. Thanks, Thanks. Yep. Excellent. Thanks. Excellent.